hi in this video we are going to learn this return function how a return function is basically work and how you can return a function over there so there you can see a code example over there you have to create a function first of all then add a function name then you can provide some value over here number or string whatever you want and then return this code and this the return result will be this function here and then you are going to add some variable for the bar this x and take it over there then add some variable this function name will be the same over here this function name and then add some value over there then and print it that using the document section will be printed here this variable this bar x whatever we provide this value in this sum then function and this value this value will be written once the function this value over here and this x will be written this resultable whatever we write it in the code section over here this x will be written over here so let's do the practical and how we can use that written function and we'll be do the practically we will be use some calculation method over there also so let's get started here you can say open my vs code now i need to create a file and which is i'm going to using that return function return function dot says now save this file and hide this left side window now open this index.html file now connect this file with here return.js and save this file so we are watching this live preview on a browser over here the right side now go to this written function.js so we are going to do the practical over here we are going to this calculating sum of this total result and this is we are going to calculating an exam result over here so we are going to first of all taking a function keyword and then we are going to take this function name which is exam now we are going to add this value over here so we are going to take this using a string value over here so I'm using this math and then comma then which is english and then comma and then a, another subject which is i'm using that physics okay let me correct this that physics over here now open this curly braces over here now we're going to using that this the variable and we're going to taking this sum over here we're going to calculate this total of the number over here but sum is equal to i'm going to this multi this sum over this all over the subject over here so it is math plus and english okay english then which is physics physics and this in what come over here now will be written this function over here so it is written and which is over here this is sum the written function we are going to take it is as a as sum okay now save this file over here now we're going to take and this is we're going to return this value over here this math subject over here so to take this the exam which is a function name and then take it over here i'm going to put it the number of this subject so which is i'm going to 70 and comma 80 and which is also the 75 this i put it the number but it will be not displayed it will be not where this will be written basically this will return over here but we want to show that so for this i'm going to taking a variable over here bar which is total and equal to exams and then document dot right we're going to printing over here document dot right and this variable we're going to provide it which is total now terminate this line and save this file so here you can see nothing is showing so we can see that what was the problem over here go to the review inspection mode and open the console over here so you can see it was an uncut zero which is written function dot says so unexpected strings okay we got it so here you can see we have provided a string so it will not provide a string it will be provided as a name only of the subject now remove it from here also and from this this will be way it is will be not be a string over here now save this file now we can see the total number it was displayed over here to 25 so this is 70 plus 80 plus 75 it is 25 so this is so this of this or exam which is the variable senses this value and this was written over here this this function over here written and which is we have provide this for total and this total is written to our sum or sum variable and which is the return to our sum this is written to our sum so which is this total and we have provided change this variable name which is total and this return to our sum so when it is written to a sum so this is some variable the sum we have decided that it will be calculate this all over this value of this exam subject name this all value is calculated over here you can see 225 
So if we're changing here some number I'm going to adding here. So it is 55 and save this file. You can see it was 2205. So this is actually the return function work how you can return a function and you can do the calculating method or whatever you want to do for it calculate arithmetic logical and whatever you want to do so you can do the return function using like this so if you have any question about it you can give me on the comment section below and if you enjoyed this video please like on it and share it with your friends and please subscribe and thanks for watching this video